Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 and the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic. Now, both of these you can get from online. I'll throw the links up in the description. The price for the Galaxy Watch 4 starts at 250 bucks and the price for the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic starts at 350 bucks. Now look, I'm not gonna waste your time going through all of the tech specs because at the end of the day, this is just a watch. All right, calm down. Nobody really cares about all that nerdy shit. You wanna know how it looks, how it fits, and how it works. And I'm gonna show you all of that. But I will start off by showing you the choices that you could get. Now, both of these watches come in Bluetooth Wi-Fi or cellular connectivity. Now, for the Galaxy Watch 4, like I said, it starts at 250 bucks. It comes in two different sizes. You got 40 millimeters and 44 millimeters. Now, the case comes in black, green, silver, and pink gold. Now, the band comes in sport, ridge sport, hybrid leather, or extreme sport. Now, the band color comes in black, silver, green, white, pink, yellow, red, olive, and navy. Now, the band size comes in small, medium, or medium and large. Now, for the watch classic, 350 bucks. All right, comes in two different sizes. You got 42 millimeters and the big boy, 46 millimeters. Now, it comes uh, in two different case colors, black and silver. The band comes in Ridge Sport, Hybrid Leather, Extreme Sport, or Regular Sport. Now, the band color comes in black, silver, green, white, pink, yellow, red, olive, and navy. And it comes in two sizes, small, medium, and medium and large. All right, so let's go ahead and unbox these and see what they look like. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. White shoes. I love my Calm white down. That was a direct hit to the poor. All right, here we go. Let's start off with the Galaxy Watch 4. Okay. Nice, clean white box. Giggity. Let's see inside. Now you're going to get your... Let's open this up real quick. Okay, so you got your usual books and shit. Plug them and file them. And let's see, anything else in here? Charging cable should be on deck. All right, here we go. Now, this is going to be your charging cable. Now, it comes with USB-A to the little cradle. All right, so all you have to do is rest your watch on the cradle. I'll show you how it looks in a minute. Okay, that's it for that. File that to the side. And this is going to be the watch. Okay? Now, I love this new sport band. All right, shoes trying to wear the watch. I right, shoes you want to wear it? Go ahead. I'm set, I'll set it up for you later, shoes. All right, shoes, can you, I need you to scoot, scoot. Okay, you got two buttons on one side. <laughs> I know. Two buttons on one side. All your sensors on the back. And that's pretty much it. All right, so nice sport band on this one. Now, I'll try it on in a minute, show you what it looks like. Now, the one that I'm using as my personal watch is the Galaxy Watch 4. Classic. Now, this is the big boy right here. 46 millimeters. Okay. Inside. Same thing, you got your usual books and shit, same charging cradle. Let's get and pop that out anyway. Okay. Same charging cradle. Frustration level increasing. Rah. Okay. <laughs> USB A to the cradle. Okay, let's get and file that to the side. And here's your watch. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I've been using this for about two days now. This is my new favorite smartwatch. Okay, now one thing I will say, if you bought a regular four, you don't have the physical rotating bezel. So basically, to me, why buy the smartwatch that comes with a rotating bezel without buying the rotating bezel? I don't know, why would you buy this over the Classic? All right, I'm just keeping it real with y'all. Buy the Classic, okay? All right, shoes. <laughs> You're gonna want this rotating bezel. Okay, so let me pause the video. I'll file shoes to the side, then we'll start our testing. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. First, let's do a quick size comparison. Here's the Galaxy Watch 3. Here's the Galaxy Watch 4. Now, if you're gonna upgrade, it's gonna really feel like wearing the same watch, depending on which size face you get. But the Watch 4 does feel a little bit more sporty. Now, like I said, I recommend going with the physical rotating bezel on the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic, especially if you got used to that rotating bezel on the 3 you're gonna to wanna to have it on the four, okay? Both of these watches feel the same, but now you have a plethora of choices for the bands. Now, for charging the watch, real simple, you plug in USB-A, all you gotta do, 
grab the little cradle right there, slap it on the bottom, and it starts charging up. Now the cradle works on the three, the four, and the four sport. All right, charge them right up, and charge them right up for the three. All right, so just in case you still got your three, and you're gonna rock multiple watches, that's how it's gonna look. Because you might have some dope watch faces on your three that's not compatible with the four yet, so you might wanna hold on to this. Now, in this video, I'm really gonna focus on the four classic, because this is the one that I use the most, but everything that you can do on the four, you can do on the four classic. I will start off by saying this. Now, even though this, the four doesn't have the physical rotating bezel, you can use your finger as a rotating bezel. Now, it does work exactly the same, but it's just not as satisfying as having that physical rotating bezel. And you hear those actual clicks, there's nothing like it. That's why, to this day, ever since Samsung came out with a watch that has a rotating bezel, that has always been my favorite smartwatch. Okay? And now with the new OS, all right, now this is a mix of Google and Tizen, the new OS is a lot more smoother, and it's very Apple-ish, all right, if that's a real word. It's very Apple-ish in the sense that it's very simple and easy to use, no lag, all right, silky smooth. So if you have an Apple Watch also, and one of your reasons for wearing your Apple Watch is because you just like the smoothness and the simplicity of it, now you're gonna like this new OS that Samsung is rocking with. Okay, now first, let me show you the app real quick. Let me pull out my phone. All right, now once you set up your watch, you're gonna open up the Galaxy wearable app. Now on a side note, every option that you change from this app, you can also do it from the phone. So you're not gonna have to take the phone out of your pocket to change some of these features, but it's a lot easier doing it from the phone. And it's a lot easier for me to show y'all. Okay, so I got a picture of my classic watch face. This is the one that I'm using right now. And it shows my battery percentage, 88. Now if you take it over to settings, it shows my watch is connected. I can add a new device, contact Samsung, and about the wearable. All right, so let's start off with watch faces. Now here's my current watch face. I can customize that face if I want, change the color of the dial, change the color of the numbers, go crazy. All right, let's view some of the mo my most recent ones. Now this is a picture that I uploaded. All right, I can just set that as my watch face, and then bang, it just turned into my watch face. Now I'm gonna show y'all some of the watch faces real quick. This is my favorite one. All right, it's called Secret Agent. This is the one I use the most. Okay, now, AR emoji. <laughs> this one is pretty sick too. All right, that's my actual Snapchat emoji. And you got a plethora, <laughs> that's my word of the day, plethora, big words alert. You got a bunch of different watch faces to choose from. Now I'll just leave it on uh, my favorite Omega, it's called Omega, but if you wanna search for it, put in Secret Agent. All right, now, this is a little Easter egg for all y'all game nerds out there. Y'all remember the game GoldenEye? This is the GoldenEye watch face from the Nintendo days. All right, let's keep it moving. All right, so there's some of the watch faces right there. Now you got a bunch of cla uh, classic watch faces. You got graphical, that's the AR emoji. You got cute character. All right, there's a bunch of different ones. You got informative, simple. Okay, regular analog status. You got health clocks, and you got basic. Now, if you wanna get more watch faces, hit more, go to Google Play, and search any one you want. Now, if you want that golden eye, just search Secret Agent from the Play Store. All right, let's keep it moving. Now, let's go to apps. Now, you can reorder the apps on your phone. All right, so when you swipe up, here's all your apps. You can use them just like that but you can reorder them directly from your phone instead of doing it from the watch. Okay, you got app settings. Okay, change the settings on the apps. And you got app info. Next, you got your tiles. Now this is when you swipe down on the top. Let me show you how it looks right now. You swipe down. I'm not, not swipe down, I mean uh, scroll right. <laughs> if you scroll to the right, these are your different tiles. Okay, now I'll show, it's gonna look better on the watch but here's all your different tiles, and you can add more. Now, like I said, I'll do it from the watch. You can add alarm, you can add your buds controller. Let's go ahead and add that. And it's gonna pop up right to the end of my, my tiles. All right, look, this is what I meant. Now, if I want, I can add it right from the watch, or add it from here. All right, so you got a reminder, blood oxygen, food, health summary. Let's add a blood O2 sensor, why not? Add that. You got your weather, world clock, woman's health. Bung. Now, quick panel. This is what I meant to say, quick panel. This is when you swipe down from the top. These are your toggles. All right, just like on your cell phone, you got your quick toggles. 
These are going to be all your different toggles. All right, so you, I'll go through those on the watch. I'm just showing you how the app looks first. Cancel that. Okay, so you got your watch settings. Okay, so you got notifications. All right, show notifications on the watch. Now you can set it to mute your notifications on the phone. So this way, if you're going to be on scumbag status, all right, and you got your phone on the table somewhere, you can have it mute your notifications on the phone and go directly to the watch. <laughs> all right, all of y'all scumbags, pay attention to that part of the video. Now, here's your, <laughs> here's your notifications that you're going to get. So I got mine set for YouTube Studio, Instagram, Google, Gmail, Messages, and you can hit more. So all of the apps that are available to have notifications, you can turn them on and off. Again, if you want some scumbag shit and you don't want nobody to know you're getting a thousand and one Gmails or Instagram messages, turn that off and you won't get the notification. Simple enough. All right, now you got sync, do not disturb with your watch. All right, so this way, if you put do not disturb on the phone, your watch will automatically go to do not disturb or you can have it one or the other. Let's keep it moving. Let's go to sound and vibrations. Okay, so right now I got it on sound. You can have it on vibrate only or you can mute it. Okay, now you can have it vibrate while ringing. That's a good way too. So if you're outside, sometime this ringtone might not sound loud enough. Have it vibrate while ringing. Okay, so vibration, you got short and long. All right, and vibration intensity, light or strong. So I'll leave it on strong. Why not? <laughs> I know. Okay, call, let's see, uh, call vibration. Now you got, now you're not going to be able to hear this. But you got different intensities and different uh, patterns of vibration. So if you put it on a heartbeat, it's like... If you put it on a zigzag, it's like... All right, so, you know, <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to do the best I can, y'all. I like heartbeat. Why not? You know, it's very, very intense. Okay, so you got notification vibration. I'll leave that one on zigzag. That's the... You know, it's hard to explain. Let's see. Uh, volume. Okay. Now... Check this out. This is the volume of the watch. So I'm going to leave it on max. Okay. For media. Okay. Now here's media. That's the volume. Now this watch does get pretty loud. All right, now my car is kind of loud, so sometimes I don't hear it. That's why I got to leave the vibration on. But if you're in a quiet room like this, putting everything on max volume is going to be too loud. All right, the watch is definitely loud. You got system and Bixby voice. Okay, so let's see. Uh, ringtones. Bunch of different ringtones to choose from. Stairway. Now, I'm not going to go through all of them. Blossom. Let's leave it on classic. That one kind of sounds like a phone call. Okay, notification sound. Now I'll leave it on TikTok. But I'll show you what that sounds like. That's wine cork. Here's TikTok. It's like real quick. Soft chime. Handbell. Now look, if you get a lot of notifications, you're not going to want to have some obnoxious sound. All right, something like Flickr is cool, but TikTok, very inobtrusive. Big words alert. Let's see, you got system vibration and system sounds. Okay, now you got a uh, ticking sound. Now, if you have a watch face that has an actual analog uh, second hand, you can actually hear the ticking sound. Tick, 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 tick. Very annoying, but fun nevertheless. Hourly chime, I don't need that, but if you work somewhere where you gotta do something every hour, say you're a correction officer, and you gotta make your rounds every hour, leave it on hourly chime, fine, there it is. No alarm necessary. You got touch sounds, unlock sounds, charging sounds, and your keyboard dialing, uh, dialing keypad. Okay, that's pretty much it for that. Let's go to display. Okay, now, right now I got the display on max brightness. That's why it looks super bright. But you could dumb it down if you want. Now, auto brightness. If you want to save battery, leave it on auto brightness. But me, I charge my watch every day. So if I spend 350 bucks on the watch, I want to see the screen in full glory, full brightness all the time. All right, I want to maximize my enjoyment. So I'm leaving auto brightness off. I want it to be full brightness, blinding people every time. Always on display. Now you can turn that on or off if you want. Here's my always on display. Now you, you'll see it when I wear it on my watch. I on my, wear it on my wrist. I'll show you a better look at how the always on display looks. Okay, now here's some features. You got raise to wake. All right, so I'll show you how that looks. You got touch screen to wake. Turn bezel to wake. Show your media controls. That's important when you're playing your music. Screen timeout. Now the screen timeout, the max is one minute. Again, 
You spend the money, you want to see this watch face as long as you want, <laughs> as long as you can. But if you're trying to save battery, you can have your screen time out after 15 seconds. Especially if you're on a date, you're having dinner, you don't want somebody staring at your watch for the whole time, looking like, uh, looking like a douche. All right, show last app. Now, if your screen time's out too fast, you can have it turn back on to show your last app. I got mine set to show my last app within two minutes. Now, if I'm doing something and the screen time's out, after two minutes, chances are I'm doing something else. But you can have it go to all the way to one hour. I touch sensitivity. If you're wearing gloves, turn that on. Show charging information, leave that on. All right, so that's it for display. Let's go to advanced features. Now, you got bedtime mode. All right, now this prevents disturbances while you're sleeping. All right, so if you do sleep with your watch on, which on a side note, I never do. I never sleep with watches or jewelry on. So that's one part of this video I'm not really gonna be able to talk about, the sleep track and all of that, because I can't sleep with a big giant watch on. I just can't do it. I tried to do that for y'all so I could test it, but I just can't get comfortable like that. So I'm not gonna even uh, talk about that. But if you want to, you do sleep with a watch, put it on bedtime mode. You got SOS, all right? Now SOS, if you press the home key three times, all right, you start off SOS or when a hard fall is detected. Now, let me show you how that looks. Matter of fact, yeah, I'll do it right now. Let me show you how that looks. All right, so I'm gonna drop the watch on. I hope y'all got your popcorn and your thought juice because this video is gonna be kind of long, but I plan on showing you everything that you need to see about this watch. SOS. Now, say you happen to, okay, now real quick, here's, my, here's how the watch looks. I'm gonna show you how the always on display looks. For this watch face, the always on display just gets grayed out. And then when I twist the wrist, bang, it turns back to color. All right, so that's how the always on display works. Now, press the, the home button three times. This is important this, in this day and age. Say you're going somewhere, maybe you're going to the projects. All right, that's what we call, not the projects. Say you're going to the projects. All right, and you gotta, you gotta meet somebody and it's a little sketchy area and you happen to get jacked in the staircase because you know the elevators don't work. You wanna hit that SOS button. So let's hit the home button three times. One, two, three. Okay, so I hit the SOS. Now, I got my SOS set to call a phone, which I do have right here. Okay, now I just got, I'm getting a phone call and I got a message right here that says emergency, please help. All right, now, I, of course, for this video, I set the SOS to one of my track numbers, but you see, I got a message right here that says, please help. All right, and at the same time, let's do that one more time. Let's do that one more time. I hit the SOS, one, two, three. Whilst I'm in the middle of getting jacked, I press the button three times, all right? Now, I pressed it, I heard a vibration. Boom, I just got that text message that just came in, okay? Now, if I don't answer that text message, the phone is gonna start ringing. That's pretty dope, all right? That's a, little, that's a pretty dope feature, especially if you're out here <laughs> in these streets, all right? If you're out here in the streets. Now, you can also have it when a hard fall is detected. All right, so if you're older, all right, if you're buying this watch for your pops or your moms or whatever, Set this up so when a hard fall is detected, set the SOS number to yourself. All right, so this way, if I get this watch to my pops, I tell him to set up, set up his SOS for hard fall detected. So say he's going outside buying some turkey legs in the middle of the night, you know what I'm saying? And he happened to miss that last step coming in the house and bust his ass, I'm gonna get an alert. All right, so that, that's a pretty dope feature. I didn't want to spend too much time talking about it, but it's important, all right, especially in this day and age. You know, everybody got, you know, coronavirus concerns. Some people you can't check on as much as you want. That's a little feature to pay attention to. All right, so now you can also customize your keys. All right, so my home key, if I double press, it's going to do find my phone. Hit start. Now it's finding my phone. This is an absolute life-saving feature for me, all right? Because a lot of times I put my phone down somewhere and then I'm getting ready to run up out the door. Where's my phone at? Oh, could somebody call my phone? You know, nobody got time for that. Now you can customize this to what you want. You know what I'm saying? To a whole bunch of different apps, but I leave it to find my phone. So if I'm running out the door or I'm in the gym and I'm getting ready to walk out, yo, where my phone at? I ain't really got to do nothing. All I got to do, let's go home. All I got to do is pick up, pick up my wrist, double press, Okay, hit it. Yo, pass me that phone over there. And that's it. All right, that's a dope feature. Now, you can also use reverse. You can do find my watch from the phone. Now, if I press and hold the home button, that's going to do my Bixby wake up. Okay. What's the time is it? <laughs> what time is it? What time is it? I forgot you got to actually hold this. 
All right, now, asking a watch, what time is it? <laughs> Pretty silly, but that's what it is. Yo. All right, that was the first thing that came to my mind. All right, so now, again, you could change that. You could turn it to, to uh, power off menus, but I'm gonna leave it for Bixby. Now, the back key, all right? So the key's on the right. The top key is your home key. The bottom key is your back key. So for the back key, short press, go to previous screen. I'll leave that as back. Now, if you want to, you can have it for show recent apps, okay? That was uh, advanced features. Now you got uh, gestures, okay? Now, gestures, I personally don't use because I'll be moving around too much and I'm very animated when I speak. So I don't wanna be in the middle of a conversation. You know, I'll be like, oh, yo, 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 yo. <laughs> I don't wanna be in the middle of a conversation going like this, I get a phone call and actually answer it. But if you turn on gestures, say you're getting a phone call, okay? All you have to do is shake your arm twice to answer that phone call. Bang, you know what I'm saying? That's the answer, call gestures and dismiss alerts. All right, so say you don't wanna keep having to touch your phone, you get an alert, you could twist it and dismiss it. Oh, hashtag bars. Okay, anything else? Uh, you got remote connection, leave that on. Next, battery, okay? Now, this watch, I haven't tested the battery out fully because like I said, I charge my watch every day, as you should, all right? If you home, might as well charge your watch every day. Now I got 88% available. I took this off the charger at maybe, right now it's 1.26 in the morning. I took it off the charger about six hours ago. So battery looks pretty good. Now keep in mind, I'm rocking mines on max power. All right, full screen brightness, full screen timeouts. Everything is max, okay? Oh, four hours. I took it off the battery, took it off the charger four hours ago. All right, so do the math. If four hours on max, I still got 86. All right, so if only 14% went in four hours with max, Somebody leave it in the comments, do the math, <laughs> and let everybody know how much that is. Okay, manage content. Now, if you wanna add music, because this watch does have storage to it, you can add music directly from your watch. So all you gotta do is sync your phone to your computer or whatever you download music from. What I did earlier, I downloaded some music from my computer to my phone and then from the phone to the watch. I'll show you how that looks in a minute. Now you can have it auto sync, so whenever you download a new song, it automatically drops to your watch. Depending on um, how much music you get, that may be uh, feasible or not. Now, same thing with gallery. You can add pictures and send them directly to the watch. I did a few, I'll show you in a second. Okay, general, let's hit general real quick. Okay, so you got your preferred, uh, uh, preferred, preferred engine, you got language, speech rate, Samsung keyboard, quick responses. Oh, what was that? Let's see, um, quick responses. Okay, so now for your text messages, you can have custom responses. But your quick responses are usual, you know, much appreciated, on my way, what's up, later, nice, I agree, OMG. Now you can add GTFOH if you want, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, do go crazy. Let's see, and you can reset it right there. Now, if you're hearing or visually impaired, you do have your visual enhancements. All right, so you got magnification, grayscale, color inversion, add color filter. Or if you're hearing impaired, you got mute all sounds and mono audio. Okay, and you do have some advanced settings, vibration watch, two finger, triple tap. Exit out of that. Account backup, watch software update, and about watch. Okay, that's it for that. Now, you do have find my watch. Now let's activate that real quick. Now, like I said, to find my watch, it's a little bit different than the way I just found my phone because you're gonna use Samsung apps. Let me pull this up real quick. I just wanna show you what it looks like. It's just loading up. And it's gonna bring up, just like on the phone. All right, now I, I cleared this out. It's gonna show you my address. It's gonna show you the map of where my house is at and you can navigate or have it ring. So let's have it ring real quick. Okay, so I put it to ring. And now the phone is finding my watch. That's pretty sick. All right, let's hit stop on that. Okay, let's exit out of that. Okay, now you also got your tips and use a manual. All right, so if you're a novice, go to there immediately, and you got your store. Now, this is where you're going to get all your apps, all your tasks, sports apps, watch faces, go crazy. Okay, and that's pretty much it for the settings. Now, like I said, every setting that you changed from your phone, you can change it directly from your watch. Okay? Now, I'm going to show you how to do that right now, and I'm going to do a, let's first of all, Let's do a test phone call so you can see how it looks when you're making a phone call from your watch. And then we'll go through some more features because I want to call Amaya before it gets too late. All right, now before I do a test phone call, let me show you how to work the actual watch. First, if you want to change the bands, just flip it upside down, you see those little pins? Hit those pins, 
pop the bands right off. Now all your sensors are located on the back of the watch. You got two buttons. This is gonna be your home button and your back button. Okay, now the home button has a little hint of red to it. This way you can differentiate between home and back. And again, when you go to settings, you can customize these buttons. Now it looks exactly the same on the four. Okay, there's your back, your home. There's your pins to change the band. There's all your settings. Again, no physical rotating bezel, but you just use your finger and rotate it just like that. Now, with the Watch 4 Classic, you got that big, juicy rotating bezel. Now, if you notice, when I hit SOS, it said, um, it said share and location with the goons. Now, after this video, that's how I'm gonna set my SO up to. I'm gonna set it up to one of my goons, so anytime something happens, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they got the goon squad on deck. Now, let's go through, let's start off from the top. If you wanna get to your toggles, you swipe down. So you got bedtime mode, you got power, you got settings, do not disturb, you got your watch connections, and you got volume. Mute and silent, okay? Bang, you leave it on. Now you got your flashlight. Basically, it just makes the screen all white, which seems kind of silly, but if you're in a complete dark environment, that white light is really gonna be a flashlight. Okay, you got your brightness, you got your power saving mode, you got theater mode. Now, theater mode is when you go to the movies, if you don't wanna be that douchebag, you know, sitting in the middle, and every time you get notifications, this watch, it might not seem that bright right now, but if you're in a dark movie theater, y'all ever see that one scumbag that watch is always going off, and you can see it at the corner of your eye? That's pretty annoying. All right, put it on theater mode, and you're not gonna get that problem, it's gonna be black until you come out the theater. You got Wi-Fi, you got your water eject, all right, so if the watch gets wet, water gets in the speaker, Turn on water eject. You got airplane mode, Bluetooth mode, you got NFC, you got your GPS, okay? And you got touch sensitivity, just in case you're wearing gloves. All right, so that's that's from the drop-down toggles at the back. Okay, that's from the drop-down to drop down toggles at the top. Okay, now swipe up. Now, if you swipe over, these are gonna bring up your notifications. So let's see some notifications I got right now. SOS to the goons. Okay, next notification, Instagram. All right, somebody sent me an Instagram. Okay, got a YouTube comment. Okay, Instagram, shout out to The Rock. He must got some new headphones, I gotta check that out. Another Instagram post, that looks like a meme. We got the weather, feels like 90 degrees. All right, that's why I'm down here sweating, y'all. It is pretty hot, 90 degrees. Okay, got a text message from the trap number. Clean check, product review invite. I'll hit them up later. <laughs> got a YouTube comment. All right, so we got some sports scores. The Rockies beat the loss to the Giants. Let's see, did my New York my New York Yankees win? Let's see. Yankees, okay, the Yankees won. Okay, Yankees, oh, no, no, no. Yankees lost to the White Sox? Bruh. Let's, now, hit show on phone. So I'm going to grab the phone. Let's open it up. Okay. Yankees did lose. Okay. Sucks. Okay, let's see. USA Today, Razor got some new headphones. We're going to check those out. More Instagram. More Instagram. Facebook, okay. Uh, Amaya posted a video on TikTok. More Instagram, TikTok, TikTok. So this is how all your notifications are gonna look. Now say I get a Facebook friend request, I can confirm it right there. I, I don't even know who that is, but I like to confirm all my friends. And then you see once I hit confirm, it automatically opened up my Facebook. All right, so I'll leave that right there. Let's hit confirm, all right. It said check your phone. All right, so let's hit back. Let's see uh, tips and I can hit clear all. Now let's go to Instagram message real quick. Let's see, um, da, 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 da. Instagram. Okay, go to your story. Now I can, if I want to, I can respond to this message just like that. Let's hit home, I wanna show you something else in a minute. Matter of fact, I'll do that one more time. Let's go to, uh, let's see anything else. Okay, here it goes. Hit more. Now show on phone. Say I wanna see this message, I'm gonna hit show on phone and bong, it took me right to that message. All right, we got the rocks picture. Now I can swipe up and get rid of that if I want. Just like that, you can swipe up and get rid of your notifications. Now, I wanna show you what happens if you swipe over to the right. Uh, to the right, actually. Now here's your tiles. Okay, so this is my steps. I took 152 steps already today. All right, <laughs> pretty active. Here's some of your workout apps. I mean, uh, workout uh, workouts that you could start. So you got walking, running, cycling, and more. Now if you hit more, you got other workouts, you got swimming, running coach, circuit training, swimming outdoor, hiking, weight machines, exercise bike, treadmill, elliptical trainer, and you could add more if you want. 
And so basically everything, okay? Now, next, this is your, your BMI, your body measurement. I think it's called BMI. I might be saying it wrong, but this one measures your body fat and uh, your, the amount of water that's in your body. So here's how that works. I'm gonna slap this on real quick. All right, so this is gonna be your body composition measurement. Now, I'm not gonna go too much into the details with that. I'll leave a link for that up in the description if you wanna know exactly what that means and why this is important. So let's hit measure. All right, now, y'all yeah, know I'm 250 pounds. Let's hit confirm. Okay, and here's my reading. <laughs> right, now, my reading should just say complete fat ass, my weight 250, all right, I don't know. <laughs> it shows my fat mass, all right, my fat mass is, is a little bit in the orange, all right, but I work out, so you know, my fat mass is up there 66.3, 66 all right, body fat, 25% body fat, all right, you know what I'm saying, it is what it is. <laughs> my body water, got your body water, BMR. All right, now again, if you hit Google, you'll learn all this stuff means. Exit out of that. All right, we'll swipe over to the next one. Now this is gonna be a sleep tracker, okay? I got the weather set up. I got events, ECG. Now let's do an ECG real quick. Let me open up my phone real quick. Okay, here it goes. We're gonna try to record an ECG. Okay, we hit okay. Okay, inconclusive. Now, you gotta take some of these readings with a grain of salt because I'm sitting behind the camera with my arms stretched out. I already did it and tried it earlier. It said uh, that I'm not having a heart attack, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, like I said, you gotta really be patient with these and you gotta be in the right environment. Doing this on video is a little bit harder, okay? But it does work. Now you got your blood pressure, uh, your uh, BPM, okay? You got your stress. Now, I'm not gonna do all of these measures right now. Let's try one though. Now, this is really gonna take a long time, so I'm not gonna waste, waste your time doing that. But my last one was 106, that's when I was in the gym, going crazy. All right, so this is ECG, you got your uh, blood pressure. Uh, you got a stress meter. All right, let's measure stress real quick. Now look, you get the idea. I did that one earlier, all right, and it said I was a little bit stressed out. That's because I'm in the middle of shooting a live video and I'm down here sweating, okay? Now, let me show you how the music playback looks. All right, now say you're wearing Bluetooth earbuds or you got your phone connected to a Bluetooth speaker and you wanna control the music directly from your watch, here's how it's gonna look. You just open up that app. Right now, this is YouTube Music. And it's gonna have the album art. Since this is a non-copyrighted song, no album art, but I can hit play play it right from here. Now, if I wanna to skip to the next song, here it is. I can hit pause. And I can also raise or lower the volume. Low, max volume, okay? Now, this is pretty sick because when you're wearing your earbuds and you're in the gym, you don't have to touch your earbuds. All right, when you wanna to skip to the next song, all you gotta do is open up your music player and rock out like that. Next, now I got the context, all right? So you can add uh, specific context. I was gonna say Pacific. You can add specific context if you want, but I'm gonna call Amaya right now. Let's do a little test. Let me hide the phone. Hold up. I'm gonna put it on my wrist real quick. And now let's see, it's a little bit late. I told Amaya I was gonna call her. Amaya's actually out of town. Okay, so I'm gonna hit call. Okay, now it's calling Amaya. Hello. 
Yeah. Yo, what up? What's good? I thought you was going to be sleeping. I was trying to rush through this video so I could hurry up and call you. What, what, what you doing? Watching Netflix. Oh, yeah, what you watching on Netflix? I'm watching The Flash. What in my business? Oh, I'm just, I'm curious. I'm curious. I, 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 want, to, I want to know these things. All right, so okay. let, let me ask you a question. How do I sound? You sound good. I don't, you know, I'm talking to you on the watch. On a watch. Yeah, on a new on a new Samsung watch. So it's kind of like how I, when I talk from the Apple Watch, but it sounds good. So how do I sound? You sound good. All right, I want one. You, you, no, you don't. You don't. Even, you don't even wear Apple Watch. Yeah, the only issue is that you're going in and out a little bit. Okay, that's because I just move. I just kind of moved the, my hand to the table. But now I'm gonna I'm gonna talk right now, like close to my wrist. Now, how does it sound? Yeah, you sound good like this. All right, so basically, y'all, um, what I'm doing is I'm talking right into my wrist like old school James Bond. So when I talk to Amaya like that, she say I'm you, like this. You say I'm sounding the best right now. Yeah. Okay, good, good, good. All right, cool. So, all right, well, let me get back to this video. I'm gonna call you back in in, in about 20 minutes if you're still up. All right. Bye. Bye. Okay. Now, <laughs> this is pretty dope. This is one of the best features about using a smartwatch, and this is one of the reasons that you're probably going to want to use a smartwatch. When you're driving in the car, having a phone call, talking on the phone, you're not going to want to have your phone in your hand because that's how you're going to get a ticket. But you see, I was able to easily have a conversation with no problems. Now, let's try. Let's try something else. Trap phone. Let's try to send a text. Let's see. No, not the trap. Let's see something else. What else I got? Uh... Got a phone right here. All right, I'm gonna send a text message. All right, to one of my trap numbers. All right, now check this out. So I just pull up, I just pull up that same contact, and instead of hitting call, I hit text. So let's try a, a little message. Call me back in 20 minutes. Let's hit send. Okay, let me grab the other phone real quick. And let's see if we get a message. Okay, so I just got a message. It said, call me back in 20 minutes. Now watch this. I'm going to clear the watch. Let's go home. I'm going to reply to this message and show you what it looks like when you're getting the message. All right, so my reply is going to be, uh, where you at? All right, so I'm going to send, where you at? Green, green bubble. All right, sending it to a peasant phone. Okay. Now, I just heard a little... Little message go off on this one. So I should have gotten a notification just now. Oh, let me see. Um, oh, no, no. Did I send it to the right number? I think I did. Let me, let me just try that one more. Oh, yeah, I did. I did. All right, let me let me try that one. Let me put the watch on because um, I'm getting so many notifications. This is a little bit hard. Giggity. All right, let's try that one more time. Okay, so I'm wearing the watch now. Okay. Let's hit clear. Matter of fact, this that this might be an easier way to do it. Let's hit clear all. Bang. Okay. Now I had voice text on. Okay. Now I'm waiting for the message to come up. Oh, you know what? I got the phone. I got the phone open. Let me close my phone. That's why I didn't get the message. All right. New new mistakes. Making new mistakes. Let's try it again. Call me. Okay. Okay, <laughs> it's making do mistake. That's how it's gonna look when you get a phone call or a text message and say, call me. Now from here, if I want to, I could do the voice response. I could just send a whole straight voice message like bro, da, 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 like that, exit out of that. All right, I can send a voice response. I can send an emoji. All right, I can use swipe to type. Now I got big fingers, so the swipe to type is not really good for me, but y'all can try that if you want. Got a full screen keyboard. All right, QWERTY style. Or I could just go right to the phone. Now my favorite one is this. I'll be there in 15 minutes. Hold up, try that again. I'll be there in 15 minutes. Okay, live video struggles. Let's try that one more time. I will be there in 15 minutes. Good old Samsung. Now this, that, I'm glad y'all seeing this live because this does happen. All right, let's try that one more time. 
I'll be there in 15 minutes. All right, the watch knows that I'm making a video. That's why it's trolling me. Be, be there in 15 minutes. Now, like I said, I've been using this all day long. Technically, you're not going to have that problem. I, I might have experienced that problem once in a blue moon. All right, so that's how that's going to look. Let's keep it moving. Let's see what else we got. Okay, so that was... The contacts. So the, again, with the contacts, once I hit a contact, I can just have it call or text. Okay, now those are trap numbers, so don't bother calling them. If y'all, I know a lot of y'all right now, oh, Floss, you showed your number. None of these numbers are my real numbers. All right, so if you waste your time calling them or texting them, I'm never going to answer them. Once the video's over, those phones are turned off. So please, I, I know a lot of y'all right now, yo, you showed your number, you showed your number. Calm down. Okay, calm down. Those are trap numbers. Okay, and if I want to, I can add a tile. Just like I showed you, so I can add, let's see, we got contacts, blood oxygen, food, steps. Let's add, uh, let's add food. I know I'm too fat for food. We'll add blood oxygen. Okay, now I can measure that if I want. Now, I'm not even going to waste your time trying to measure it because I'm underneath these hot lights. I'm kind of sweating a little bit, so all of my red, uh, readings are going to be inaccurate. But take them for a grain, uh, take them with a grain of salt. I wouldn't trust I, any real medical decisions and health decisions on a watch. Okay, now it might give you a, a good insight to where you at, you know, kind of. But if I, if I if I do it and my blood pressure or my um my heart rate says one twenty, I'm not gonna go run into the hospital because it said one twenty on the watch. I, if my O2 set is a little bit high, I'm not gonna go run into the hospital because it said on the watch. Because I got tattoos, I'm sweaty. It is what it is. All right, so let's go back home. Okay, now, if you want to change your watch faces, you can hold down and change a quick watch face without opening up your phone. All right, now, here's the one I want to show you. Let's look the cute one. My AR emoji. So, I'm going to go ahead and put the watch back on, and then I'm going to wrap this video up because I know I've been taking forever. Okay, here we go. Okay, so here's my, <laughs> here's my emoji. And every time you turn it on, you get something different. Bro, how cute is this? All right, tough guys, it's okay to be cute sometimes too, all right? We ain't always got to be thug life. Every now and then you could be cute. And this is one of those cute ones. But again, if you're not into the cutesy cutesy, was it cutesy tootsy, cutesy cutesy? Go with the secret agent watch face. You see, it's 91 degrees outside. Got Friday the 13th, all right? <laughs> I've got the time, 152, and mission status. All right. Now, a lot of these watch faces are customizable. You can change the colors and change uh, some of the interactions. All right. So now let's take a look at some of the apps. Now, if you swipe up, there's all your apps. If you hit this one, this is your recently used apps. OK, exit out of that. Y'all seen the phone calls. Y'all seen text messages. Y'all seen Samsung Health. You got contacts. Y'all seen the ECGs and the blood pressure. You seen the Google Play Store. Maps. I'm going to show you maps last. OK, you got settings. Okay, take it over to settings. So you got connections, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, NFC. Let's go ahead and turn NFC on. Okay, exit out of that. This way you can use your payments. You got notifications, sound and vibrations, display, advanced features, battery apps, all of the same settings that y'all seen from earlier. Now you got your calendar, weather, you got Samsung Pay, you got Bixby, you got an alarm, timers, stopwatch, gallery. All right, now here's some pictures that I took. Okay, nothing crazy. That's me right there. Nothing crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right, uh, you got buds. All right, so this way, if you want to pair up your watch to your buds, real simple. Music. Check this out. Now, this is what separates the Galaxy Watch from the Apple Watch. You can play music from the speakers on the phone. Y'all remember cooking with floors? All right, Apple Watch users, eat your heart out. You cannot do this on an Apple Watch. The phone speaker plays music. Now, I know some of y'all are going to say, oh, that's kind of gimmicky. Who's ever going to use that? If you're sitting in a little quiet room like this and you just want to breeze through some music, you don't want to put on headphones, maybe you don't want to play your music from your phone, this is a nice way, especially if you don't want loud music. Now, I find myself using this a lot when I'm taking notes. Because if I play loud music when I'm taking notes, it's going to interrupt me. But if I play something like this, like a little, like a little uh, instrumental while I'm taking my notes, this is how it's going to sound like. I'm going to drop the watch on real quick. 
All right? Like this. Now, not the loudest, but not the lowest. Listen. I'm gonna wait for that beat to drop. This is max volume. That's kind of loud. So imagine if I was sitting at the table and I'm playing on my phone. Nice music coming on from the watch while I'm taking notes. Real nice. Let me go ahead and turn this off real quick. But you do have your album art. Let's play, see something with album art. All right, like Samsung over the horizon. <laughs> this has album art to it. Real dope. Okay. Now, media playback devices. Phone watch. All right, I can switch to the phone, play music right from the phone. Okay, you got um alarms. You got Microsoft Outlook. You got Shazam. And camera. Now, this is pretty dope. If I want to, hit this up. Open this up. Bung. Now, I can use the watch <laughs> to take... I can use the watch as a remote to take pictures. So, say I had my phone set up for some clandestine activities or some scumbag activities, and I could leave my phone just like this. Now, if I want to sneak a quick picture without anybody knowing, all I got to do is hit the phone, the camera button. It's going to open up my camera, and I use the watch as a shutter. That is pretty sick and pretty creepy and pretty scummy, depending on how you use it. <laughs> I, it could be a good feature to take selfies or to, for vlogging or yourself, but at the same time, it, it can be used in the wrong hands. <laughs> it, can be turn, it can turn very scummy. All right, and that's pretty much it. Now, let me show you how GPS looks. I'm going to turn on maps. Now, I don't want to pull up my complete address right now, but I'm going to go to search. Okay. Now, say I put in up some of my recent address. Let's hit Mr. Charles. All right, 21 minutes from here. Let's start. It says start in navigation. Automatically opened up my phone. And bang, it's going to show you. Now, let me show you how this looks from in the car. All right, it's going to look way better. All right, so I got an address set up in the phone. Now, let's see how the GPS looks. Telling me to take a left on Lakewood. Take a left on Lakewood. Just go ahead and do that. Take the next right onto 142nd Street. How it's gonna look. That was for my car, guys. And that's pretty much it. So, on a scale of one to ten, I'm giving the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 Classic and the Galaxy Watch 4 a major 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 go all right this is my new favorite smartwatch as opposed to <laughs> my last favorite smartwatch was the three now a lot of y'all see me wearing the apple watch and y'all always say the same thing oh i thought the galaxy watch was your favorite watch a lot of times when i'm on the road i need facetime you know because all all of the ladies in my life use our iphones so I tend to have an iPhone for personal uh, for personal stuff, and I use Apple Music, so a lot of times when I'm in the gym, I'm wearing an iPhone. But if I had to say what's my favorite watch, the watch that I like the most, it's always going to be a Galaxy watch with a rotating bezel. All right? Once you get the hang of that rotating bezel, you're going to love it, and you're not going to be able to go back to using anything else. 
like I said, if I had to choose though, you go, you want, you're gonna want the physical rotating bezel. It does work with the finger, it's nice. And Apple should really jump on this bandwagon because it is kind of intuitive, but it's just not as satisfying as hearing those clicks. Y'all hear that? I'm gonna let me do it right next to the mic. L listen closely. You're gonna want those clicks, bro, trust me. Anyway, Galaxy Watch 4, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about these. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google Gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, Stream Gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys in that. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spock one to beam up. Energize. I want everybody to subscribe to Flossie Carter for the real tech reviews. Now, Flossie Carter, we know you Flossie. Now, guess what? I'm flashy. Money may all day, the one and only. Flossie Carter, you part of the money team.